Hey guys, what's up? Chris here for BeerGeekNation.com. Today, we are looking at the top 15 beers that Zymergy Magazine recently put out. They actually put out a top 50, but I figured, hey, let's just do the top 15. Uh, Zymergy Magazine is the official magazine of the American Homebrewers Association. Uh, they feature craft beer, home brewing, kind of everything. It's a great magazine. If you've never checked it out, definitely do that. Um, 18,000 votes contributed to this list, and I really, really dig this list. There is some controversy about this list. Some people absolutely hate this list, and I'll get into a little bit of that after the actual list. But let's just start from number 15, Dogfish Head 90-Minute IPA. Okay, I'll, uh, okay, whatever. Uh, number 14, Lawson's Finest Liquid Sip of Sunshine. Absolutely. Number 13, Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. Well, we all know how I feel about that one. Number 12, Founders KBS. Number 10, and there are two number 10s. There's a tie. Uh, Stone Enjoy by IPA and Deschutes Fresh Squeezed IPA. Very, very, both awesome beers. For me, I'd probably go Enjoy by, but you could probably guess that. Number nine, Goose Island Bourbon County Brand Stout, of course, one of my favorites. Number eight, Bell's Hop Slam. I think it's dropped off. I think Enjoy By is a little bit better, but I understand why it's there. Number seven is Three Floyd Zombie Dust. People still go crazy for that beer. Number six is Founder's Breakfast Stout. Um, and I think that one's above KBS just because more people can get it. So probably more of the voters have had that one over KBS, but that's just my guess. Still a super solid beer, though. Don't get me wrong. Number five is Ballast Point Grapefruit Sculpt on IPA. Awesome, awesome stuff. Probably the one and only IPA that should have fruit in it. The one and only IPA that probably started the fruit and IPA craze. Just putting that out there. Number four is Ballast Point Sculpt on IPA. The standard stuff. Of course, can't go wrong with that. Number three is the Alchemist Heady Topper. Obviously. Number two, Bell's Too Hearted. So, you know, Bell's Too Hearted taking it over Heady Topper. But again, it might be one of those things where more people have had Heady, um, Too Hearted rather than Heady Topper, obviously. And number one, of course, the one and only Russian River, Pliny the Elder. Now, guys, why do I absolutely love this list? And, it, and the list goes on and on. Um, the 50 beers are just awesome stuff. I love this list because they could have gone super esoteric. They could have gone for these super like white whales that people in Beer Advocate go absolutely crazy for. Um, you know, you're, 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 and there were a couple trilliums, there were a couple treehouse beers, so don't get me wrong, they were on there. But you know, just these crazy kind of one-off things that they made 300 cans of and people go nuts for, da da da. They went more for the, and it was votes. It's based on votes. It's based on home brewer votes. It's based on people, um, you know, like myself and you know, Joe Schmo down the street is in craft beer who don't trade a lot who don't go out of our way to get these crazy whales um, who don't go to beer advocate and, and freaking obsess about you know their top 10 beer and i think this is kind of what i've always kind of to emulate on beer geek nation and to you guys and how i feel about craft beer is that craft beer doesn't have to be rare to be good there's a good craft beer out there that's pretty readily easy relatively easy to get um, you know it's not hard to find a great local craft beer or um, you know just go down the street a lot of these breweries are really really big now and distributing pretty much throughout the country so you're going to able to get some of these most of these beers some of them are harder to get I'm not saying they're not hard to get you know Bourbon County KBS those are tough to get liquid sip of sun sip of sunshine hard to get but pretty obtainable if you try um, and I just love that about it I love that you know more people are getting to try these beers and like this is the list and that top 50 is full of beers like that there's a couple trilliums on there now that trillium has a much bigger location they're starting to get more kind of distribution throughout Massachusetts some more people are starting New England in general some more people are starting to get to try their stuff so what is the controversy well, if you look at the list, you scroll down to the comments, people are complaining about so-and-so is not on there, and we had about, um, um, Hill Farmstead, the best you know, brewery, rated the best brewery in the world by Rape Beer and Beer Advocate. Nobody can get their beers! So these people who are voting, how can they vote on a beer they haven't had? That's the problem, and people don't get that. It's... It's the bell curve of craft beer. You know, on both sides, you've got the beer advocate rate beers, beer advocate rate beers, and in the middle, you've got everyone else, the home brewers, the craft beer guys, you know, not the hardcore 
beer nerds who spend all their, their, all their paycheck on boxes to send out new beers for trading. And I, it's just not my thing. I get it. It's a thing. It's just not my thing. And I think the bell curve kind of speak. This is the bell curve. This is the middle. This list is the middle of the bell curve for people who really just want to try new beer, enjoy craft beer. That's the middle of the bell curve. That's why I like it. I hate the extremes. Beer advocate, rate beer. It's never been my thing. I just think it's a toxic, toxic environment um, for craft beer. So with that said, what do you guys think about this list? I think it's a really solid list. Go and check out the top 50 in the link below um, and let me know what you guys think. Uh, definitely post it in the comment section. I'll try to get back to you as much as possible. And please, if you guys want to support Beer Geek Nation, click on this link right here and buy us a beer. Thanks, folks. Remember, life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.